John, Patsy and Jack, what have the nation been talking about this week? Is it Wimbledon? Did you go this week? I went to Eastbourne. You went to Eastbourne? <laughs> it was really good. Really? So you went to Eastbourne, not, not Wimbledon? You know, probably you're sat there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I went to Eastbourne. It was a really brilliant match. Did I did saw see? Venus Williams. How did you cope with the screaming? Screaming where? In Eastbourne? At the tennis, when they hit the it and they... Screaming? Grunting? They're trying to ban it, aren't they? They're trying to ban the noises. Yeah, they are. They said this week it was OK, it was better for concentration and stability to grunt. I have to watch it with the sound down. I can't be doing with it. If you turn the sound down and do your own noises, like, boink, boink. <laughs> I imagine that the ball boys are little gremlins, and then when they come out to get a ball, I go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Am I? Can I hear the gremlin noise again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I go, my ball, my ball, my ball. <laughs> Taken all the fun out of it though. One of the first things they did this week when it rained, because they can still play, but they closed Henman Hill because they didn't want people sliding down. And again, more fun than tennis. <laughs> like, it's just have a camera, posh old lady with a tray full of pims, just trying to get across. <laughs> Far better than tennis. Joe, do you watch the tennis? Yeah, uh, uh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch it, but at the end, it's the same thing, it's just different people winning. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same every time. Oh, you won that one. It, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone think Andy Murray's going to win? Of course he's not going to win. We always go through this <laughs> every year, he's never going to win. <laughs> Read the news like that. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reading that. Move on. <laughs> no, it'd be good. It'd be a breath of fresh air if the news was read like this. I'd love yeah. that. Afghanistan, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that did annoy me was that um, Andy Murray takes his top off a lot. And, like, he's obviously proud of his body, isn't he? Which annoys me. If he had my body, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> because if I he had your body, yeah. I don't know whether he'd be playing there. Well, <laughs> I, I get changed like I'm an old woman on the beach. <laughs> and with, like a towel up, kind of like that. So I find that sort of quite offensive when people sort of go, oh, is, is the camera still on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he physically looks that impressive, Andy Murray. It always yeah, strikes me as like Nadal is like. Why does he take his top off? Yes. We didn't do it during the game. What, has he actually got <laughs> enough? Afterwards, it's not in the middle of a point, just woo! <laughs> <laughs> he waits and then takes off. If it goes for extra time, it's just in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I th always think he looks a mess, because, like, Nadal is incredible. Like, he's just a physical Adonis. And Annie Murray looks like a heroin addict that's shoplifted a JD Sports. <laughs> <laughs> he's pathetic. <laughs> And, like, when you see him next to Nadal, Nadal is just the perfect man, cos he's really strong, he's got these big pistons of arms, but then a really nice little boyish face, sort of very hamsterish features. Like, imagine if you were with Nadal, he'd be, like, two hours of, like, rampant, ferocious sex, and then afterwards, just make you eggs benedict. <laughs> Does anyone...? Do you fancy a game of who's got a crush on <laughs> Nadal? <laughs> oh, look, I've won. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Wimbledon is one of the most talked-about things this week.